Right now, we want to turn to another big headline for us today and some continuing coverage. Statewide and local Democrats are calling for a state representative from Mecklenburg County to step down tonight, and it's because tomorrow, Trisha Cotham is expected to announce she will switch parties from Democrat to Republican, and it's about to hand a supermajority in the North Carolina General Assembly to the GOP. Now, Democratic calls for the representative with District 12 to resign are coming quickly as they now say the Democrat is poised to realign herself with Republicans just months after winning her seat. Some are calling this move a betrayal. You're looking at some of that reaction right now. One of the Democrats criticisms here is her campaigning as a Democrat in a majority Democrat district. We'll remind you she won in 2022 with 59.1% of the vote to 40.9 for her GOP opponent. Now we do know as a Democrat, Cotham has recently broken party lines with some votes, for example, voting for a bill that would compel local sheriffs to comply with ICE detainer requests. We also know that she has voted for House Joint Resolution 220, uh, 235. That calls on Congress to trigger an Article 5 convention of the states to amend the U.S. Constitution. So we asked political science professor David McLennan why Cotham might make this formal move now. He says one reason a policymaker might make the switch is wholly changing their political point of view. Another is to help election prospects, so to get elected. But he says this third reason is probably more likely in Cotham's case. Could mean that she has more power. It could mean she ha could get more um, perks like um, committee memberships, that sort of thing. So, you know, I think it's probably more that third uh, reason for Cotham and that, that she sees some personal gain from switching and serving within the Republican caucus. So let's talk about the policy impacts. Right now, Republicans have the supermajority in the Senate, but we're one person shy in the House until now. With this move, they can override Governor Cooper's vetoes without any Democrats if all Republicans do vote as one. McLennan says one of the big policy impacts to watch this session, abortion rights. He says Cotham has traditionally supported those rights, but it will be remain to uh, be seen how she would vote with Republicans expected to push more restrictions on the abortion rights front. And so we'll see if that influences how she votes. By the way, Cotham hasn't formally addressed this news, but we know she has a news briefing scheduled for tomorrow alongside Republican leaders. We'll keep you posted what she says tomorrow afternoon.